picks. What are picks? Well, on the end of the uh, end of the uh, shaft here for sled hockey. So in order to propel ourselves, we have to push down on the ice and then push these back. Okay, so it would look this is the wrong hand for this, and they both have hands because there's different curves to the blade. So down and then back. For more about that, you might want to check out uh, Todd Sweeney. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> For more information about that, see Josh Sweeney. Uh, he has a fantastic video about how to skate more efficiently, and I'm going to put a description of that video below. So anyway, here are picks. Picks are secured by usually um, button head, um, button head screws, and these are stainless steel, and these are hex head. They've got some tape in them because I had to take take the tape off. Uh, in order to uh, show the folks what I wanted when I was buying some stainless steel stuff. So anyway, yes, you have to make sure they're stainless steel. They are pricier, uh, but stainless steel is the way to go because, I mean, you guys know what happens to regular uh, material out there. It rusts. So stainless steel, stainless steel. Can't stress that enough, stainless steel. Anyway, so here we have the picks, and there's uh, two on each stick. And if you look at how they're positioned, so this blade would be a right, or yeah, this stick would be a right-handed blade. And if you look at the way they're positioned, they would be positioned to where they go down into the ice this way. And then you can push off and propel yourself. So yes, they are very sharp and very dangerous. And if you ask, have I ever gotten picked before? Thankfully not. Tara has. She had a um, big tear in the skin. And uh, is it like a puncture? You know, punctures take forever to heal, and they, um, from what I understand, they're painful. So um, be careful. And when you're storing these in your bag, uh, put a protective covering over them. I either use bags, and, uh, those little tiny bags, and tape, or I use uh, tennis balls. So just cut them open, stick them on there. That way, you're not tearing up your other gear.